Gadithi DEFCON warning system has issued a North Korea warning The DEFCON warning system has been updated to reflect the changing dangers posed by North Korea and the rogue state's despotic leader Kim Jong-un, as well as China, Russia and countries in the Middle East. The private organization, which monitors nuclear threats against the U.S., remains at level 5, its lowest, and therefore safest, status. However the group, which boasts of senior intelligence contacts, has issued a fresh warning regarding North Korea's threat to the U.S. The DEFCON warning system said, despite the proposed meeting between North Korea and the U.S., the hermit state remained a huge threat and should not be trusted. They said, we caution the public to understand that North Korea views its nuclear program to be sacrosanct and will likely not give it up, no matter what they say during any negotiations. While the press has reported that North Korea is willing to negotiate their nuclear program, this is not exactly what North Korea said. An examination of North Korea's statement as reported by the Chinese reads that North Korea is willing to discuss it but said nothing about actual disarmament. And they warn new satellite images appear to show North Korea has already gone back on its promise not to carry out tests until the meeting. They said, prior to the upcoming summit meeting, North Korea has stated that it will suspend further tests while talks are underway. However satellite images have shown that North Korea's Yongbyon nuclear complex is likely operating, producing more plutonium for nuclear weapons program. And DEFCON also warned of threats posed by China and Russia to the U.S., along with chaos in the Middle East and Saudi Arabia and Turkey. They said, while China has announced that it is increasing its defense spending by 8.1%, Russia has said that it is going to decrease its spending on defense. Gadifkin, North Korea has not stopped its nuclear war program despite promises. Nevertheless, Russia is to expand its presence in Arctic region while the United States is to sell Javelin anti tank missiles to Ukraine, which can be used against Russian forces. Saudi Arabia states that it will develop nuclear weapons if Iran does and is currently stepping up plans to develop a civilian nuclear energy capability. Turkey continues operations against the PKK in Syria and has possibly expanded its operations into northern Iraq. Despite his at times bombastic and confrontational nature, DEFCON levels have remained low since Donald Trump's election victory. Eddie North Korean despot Kim Jong-un inspecting a nuclear warhead DEFCON said at the time of his U.S. presidential election victory. Mr. Trump's isolationist policy could help create a more peaceful world situation. They said, the United States took a tentative step toward a more isolationist policy with its recent presidential election. While it will take several months to see how the U.S. reforms its foreign policy, already some world leaders have expressed hope that relations could improve, including Russia and Syria. If the new U.S. president keeps to his previous statements, Look for the United States to withdraw somewhat from military confrontations in the Middle East and possibly European theater, though it is highly unlikely it will abandon NATO commitments, and the Ukraine will likely pop up again in the near future.